Hello and welcome back to another vlog. Here we are just watching Nero sitting on his clean couch, falling asleep while I'm talking about him. Oh, it's time for a nap nap, hey boy? Oh, it really is time for a nap nap. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's just way too relaxing, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. Look at those eyes. Oh, you want to sleep, you say? Well, it's time for a little sleep. Yes, it's okay. It's okay. Give in, my boy. Give in and have that nap. He's been waiting all day long for a nap, mainly because he just hasn't had a chance. I may look tired, <laughs> because we woke up super early this morning, and I actually, first thing in the morning, I took Helene to spin in, and then I went to the beach with this handsome guy, and I threw the ball for him. The only thing was, at the beach, it was a little bit difficult, because half the beach had washed away, so there's this huge dog beach that we go to. It's just the unofficial dog beach. Just like Aurora Glade is the unofficial Luminati server. It's actually the official one. Don't tell them. Don't tell the world, else they'll all just roll there, and it would be the most overcrowded server ever. So, half the beach washed away. There was a big river blocking us off from the real meat of the beach. It was bad. So we had to throw a ball on this tiny little stretch of sand, and little man here didn't enjoy it so much. But he got some exercise in, and we just went for a W, I can't say the word out loud because he's not going to like it. We went for a W now. Just a few minutes ago. In between, like, what happened this morning and now, a lot of other stuff happened. I edited a bunch of videos, we went to the shop and we bought a bunch of stuff for Guild Wars launch. That's actually the whole purpose of this vlog is Guild Wars launch. Yes! I mean, come on. How can you not be excited? We're going to go to sleep early-ish tonight. I'm bad at going to sleep early. I'm going to say, oh, I'll go to sleep at like 10 o'clock, and then come 9 o'clock, I'm going to be like, oh, well, I can still edit this video. Oh, maybe I can still record a quick Mass Effect video or something. Or, hey, what about that 100-minute Skyrim <laughs> episode? And then I'm probably going to start something, and then I just won't get it done in time. And then I'm going to go end up going to sleep at like 12 or 1, and then waking up at 5, and then being so, so tired. But I'll try. I will try. For everyone that's going to be playing Guild Wars with us tomorrow, I'll try go to sleep early so I can be chipper tomorrow. Happy. Vibrantly bright. Anyway, so the office was cleaned. It's looking really good. Looking really, really good. I helped clean. I cleaned the screens and the peripherals and the mouse pads and like, I suppose that could count as a peripheral. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, I helped a bit. Helene did all the vacuuming and this broom sweeping and the dust and all that and it is looking really good and those things still need to go up the reason we actually wait in to hang stuff up on the wall and once we start hanging stuff up on the wall I'll tell you in just a second but the reason we wait in is because we are getting some prints with the Guild Wars Collector's Edition and those are going to go up on the wall along with these so once we have all of it here then we can actually just plan where we're going to put everything I don't want to put those two up right now and the ones that I have over there, I've actually also got this Ultima one and the Mass Effect one. You can't really see it. You don't need to see it now. I'll show you when it's up. And I can't just put them up now and then not know where the Guild Wars ones are going to go. That's bad. That would be ludicrous. Absolutely ludicrous. So we're going to wait. We're going to wait for that. I can't remember what I was talking about. All right. And once those go up, then I'm going to have... I'm going to find myself a really big frame and I'm going to start putting like Nero Puppy fan art and stuff that you guys send in that big frame. So it's going to be like a big collage of awesome. There's nothing else to really say about it. It's going to be amazing. Absolutely amazing. But back to the Guild Wars launch and everything that's happening. N right now, as I'm saying this, I think there's about 12 hours left. I'm not sure. I don't know. what. There's no clock here, so I can't really say. But it's about 5, five o'clock right now, p.m. And... I've still got so much to do. Today, the channel is going to be spammed with Guild Wars 2 stuff. Spammed. There are so many videos going up, and all of them are Guild Wars related. And then I still need to record the Q&A. I keep saying I'm going to record the Q&A now, but then I never get around to it. It's just something else pops up, and I need to get rid of all the Guild Wars footage that I got. And it's good stuff. It's really good stuff. I recorded a couple of videos during the stress test last night, and those need to go up. And then the last armor video needs to go up, and there's a newsman going up, which all of that will probably be up already by the time this goes up, but still, super exciting. And I thought, why not? You know, everyone's going to be excited for Guild Wars tonight anyway, that, and some people might not be able to play tomorrow, so shame. They can watch my videos. 
I don't expect anyone that has access to Guild Wars to even look at my channel tomorrow. Please, don't. Don't look at my channel. Right, Nero? You got some sand in your eye, my boy. You got some sand in your eye. Oh, now it looks even worse. <laughs> I'm trying, my boy. I'm trying. Let me kiss it. I'll kiss it better. Okay, there you go. He gave me a kiss. Oh, man. He saw that coming. Anyway, I tried to fix it. It's my duty as a daddy to keep his face nice and clean. Wow. He is looking so tired. I'll just say it again. Okay. Now, I'm going to go to the kitchen. Because in the kitchen, I'm going to show you some of the stuff that we bought. Helene was apparently bragging about it on the Illuminati forum. She was telling everyone what kind of snacks we bought and how nice they're going to be. We actually had banana loaf for lunch. We were, we were spoiling ourselves. But it's, it's, that's all that's left of it. <laughs> it's like a little piece. It wasn't a very big banana loaf, okay? Telling you that right now, it wasn't very big. We bought some bananas. We bought some kiwis. Whew, kiwis. I don't know if you get kiwis in all parts of the world. I'm sure you do because they're imported or exported, but they're amazing. They are really, really good. If you go through the effort of actually peeling them. Oh man, second wind, engaged. <laughs> He's gonna have the best sleep of his life tonight. So, tonight for, for di dinner, for supper, we actually have in chicken breasts and fruit salad. That's some of the fruit salad there. The rest of it's in here, strawberries. Okay, I might just throw some miniola in mine. Do you know what miniolas are? They're really big notchies. Do you know what notchies are? They're like clementines, like a variety of orange citrus. There you go. And uh, that'll probably also go in the fruit salad. And we've got some baby tomatoes there, onion, that's boring, apples, lots of milk down there. We drink a lot of milk. Um, then these Helene bought as her takeaways tomorrow. Because we decided tomorrow we're not making dinner. We're going to buy stuff and just to spoil ourselves, you know? Guild Wars launch day, rush! Okay, so, <laughs> she got that. It's a uh, satay chicken noodles pot. It's a pot, okay? And apparently she was saying that, oh, well, these don't even have 400 calories. They're under 400 calories. You're supposed to have 400 calories for one meal, blah, blah, blah. I wasn't listening. All I saw was satay chicken noodles, and I was like, well, that looks good. Take it. Fragrant prawn curry with coconut rice pot. They're both pots, as you can see. I don't know, they just call this a pot because of the shape. You be quiet, fridge. Then, over here are some corn dogs. Okay, and this is a recent addition to our fridge. That's not very healthy, but they're actually not unhealthy either. It's basically a pork sausage inside a bit of batter. And the way that Woolworths makes it, this is from Woolworths. Uh, the logo, let me show you the Woolworths logo. I don't know if you'll recognize it, but there's the Woolworths logo on the eggs. Uh, there, there's the Woolworths logo. Um, they make things much healthier than other places do. This is not deep fried in oil. Trust me. Believe me, it's not. And we grill it in the oven. So it ends up being very healthy and those are super nice. Those are cheese stuffed pork sausages. So those are like super good. Really, really, really nice. I don't have words to explain how good they are. I really don't. You bite them. And then there's this crack of you biting into the pork sausage. Well, first you go through the crispy outer shell and that stuff just tastes so good. Then you crack into the pork sausage and then the cheese squirts out and it's like a taste explosion in your mouth. So good. Okay. Then there's some spinach over there. That's really boring. Um, then in the freezer. Okay. This is stuff that Helene apparently told you about. We got some soft scoop vanilla ice cream and that is for the waffles tomorrow morning. That's breakfast. Then we've got a free-range chicken roast with basil pesto and creamy feta. And this is what Helene made. Well, this and this, let's get the other one. This. So we've got a lot of this stuff that she made. And we've each got, this is like, these must be my containers and then hers are still in there. But these, oh my goodness, these. Look at this. Okay. These are like... These are cookies, firstly. They're frozen to preserve them because they, like, very, f I, I want to say they're, they're very fresh and if you keep them out for too long, they're probably going to go moldy or something. But this is made of sweet potato instead of, I think there's some oats in there. There must be some oats, <laughs> some oats in there or something. But it's made with dark chocolate, so that's already quite healthy, of, well, a healthy variety of chocolate. Then sweet potato and, I don't know, she's going to have to explain to you what's in it. But it's like, Basically, the healthiest cookies you can have, and they're the best tasting cookies you can have. And then here, I don't even know what they are, okay? I don't know. I just eat the stuff that she makes. These are banana protein muffins. 
They're frozen right now, but we'll unfreeze them and eat them. They are made without flour, so they're very low carb. Um, and lots of banana and some protein powder in there or whatever. So they basically make you full, but they taste really good at the same time. So nice. Let's put these away. Let's put these away before she gets out of the shower. She's busy showering now. Because if she sees them out here, not where they're meant to be, she's not going to be happy. <laughs> she's not going to be happy. So, then in the cupboard, this is where the good stuff is. Now, these are the snacks and stuff that we bought. Firstly, there's a little pack. We buy these packs, okay, because we've got a, a place called Fruit and Veg City, and they sell sort of, you could say, bulk fruit and vegetables, and I say bulk, it's actually a supermarket, but I say bulk because you can choose how much you want. You can get any amount, and it ends up being much cheaper than most other places. Now, they sell dried fruit and nuts as well. Those are cashews. This is for me now, the snacks. That's, those are cranberries. We never usually buy cranberries because they're pretty expensive. Um, these are fruit cubes. I don't know if you know what these are, um, or if you have them anywhere else, but it's basically little cubes of fruit with some sugar on top. The sugar is, is negligible, but it's the fruit that tastes good. That's pretty much it. Then in here there are like other packs, remnants. <laughs> Those are coconut and date. It's date sticks with coconut on top. Also pretty healthy. These are prunes. And then we've got rice cakes here. Those are some rice cakes. Can you even see? It's pretty dark. These are rice cakes. There you go. That's raisins. And then up here, oh, that's the cereal. Wheat Bix and Jungle Oats. Amazing. Amazing. I got the family pack because I have to eat like... <laughs> wheat picks feel so light. So I end up eating like four and a half blocks of wheat picks. You know what a wheat pick is, right? I don't know. I don't know if you guys know what... I don't know if it's a South African thing or not. Or if it's called something else there. But they are these blocks. Like this. You see. And they, they're really good. They're really good. But I have to eat a lot of them to actually be full. Then up here... These are so, so nice. These are pear and chocolate. Um, but, I don't know if you can see the picture, but it's, again, like these, it's pretty much the same as these things, except there's chocolate, I want to say vermicelli, but chocolate sprinkles <coughs> covering them. What is it, my boy? Go look. You go tell them, okay? Tell them not to intrude, because I'm busy recording. Then, what else we got up here? We got a couple of these bars, and the reason we got these caramel biscuit chocolate bar things is because they were ridiculously cheap. They were just super cheap. And the reason they're cheap is because they're expiring in like two weeks time. They taste amazing. But because they're expiring, Woolworths have to sell them for very cheap. Then the only really unhealthy thing I've got, which ends up being pretty healthy as well, this is my treat for myself, is Panda. All natural licorice. Oh my goodness. Let me show you the little Panda there. There he is. Isn't he handsome? Wow. This is probably, uh, this is the first time I buy one of these packs ever. I've never bought this before. And it's going to be so. This is celebrating Guild Wars launch. So you guys better tell me what you're doing to celebrate Guild Wars launch. You better tell me. Are you eating waffles in the morning? We also decided that on Sunday morning, we're going to go out for coffee, for takeaway coffee. And that's going to be amazing too. There are some rusks here. Some boxes of rusks. And that's about it. Then there are some tennis biscuits over there and she's going to use those to make a crust for some pumpkin pie that she's going to make for my birthday. I don't want a birthday cake, I want a pumpkin pie for my birthday because we never have pumpkin pie and she makes the best pumpkin pie. We've had it once and it was so good. I'm just hoping it wasn't like a fluke that she made a really good one and the next one's not going to be good. Uh, I think it'll be good. It'll be fine, I'm sure. I'm sure. Then Eileen will probably be happy if I show you her tea. Cranberry, apple and cinnamon tea and lemon and ginger. Fruit infusion. Pretty good. Pretty good. I would say this is an adventurous tea. Just like this is adventurous coffee right here. Pure indulgence. The descriptions of these are always so good. Where is the description? Hold on. No, there's no really good description. I take that back. I take that back. That's just a normal one. Last time we had this uh, Indian roast and they gave this really super good description. It was so good. Anyway, that's what we've got. There's actually probably more stuff here, and I just can't think of it, because Helene's the one that was preparing all of this. That's what Nero's getting for Guild Wars launch, by the way. The biggest bone ever. Probably can't really see it very well, but it's huge. 
The vet said, well, we just got these in today and we've never had bones this big. They probably can't legally sell them. Probably bought them on the black market. Smuggled them in there. And now we got one for Nero. He's going to love it. He doesn't know it's here yet, but he will soon. He will soon. And then he'll demolish it. So that's it. Now we've had a tour of our cupboard and some of the stuff. I'm saying some. There's some peanut butter over there. I love peanut butter. But I hate it at the same time. I've got a very strange relationship with peanut butter. I don't know why. Me and peanut butter, we don't always see eye to eye. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Check back in soon for more. Most importantly, happy telling me what you guys are doing to prepare for your Guild Wars because I would love to hear what are you eating? What are you having for, for breakfast? Because that's probably the most important meal of tomorrow, seeing that breakfast will be mere hours before Guild Wars launch. Are you waking up at 5 a.m.? We're waking up at 5 so that we can be ready at 6 for the three hour period that it could start in. That's what we're doing. Are you doing that? I'd like to know. I'd also like to know what kind of snacks you have. So if you want to, you can go post on the Luminati forums. I'll link the forums below. If you're not registered there, do it. Check it out. If you're not part of the guild yet, join us. Join us. Aurora Glade, EU. Everyone's welcome. Oh, Nero, you're so handsome. You just keep it up, okay? You keep it up. Most importantly, though, have you all those things?